everybody welcome we're going to be doing another video this is a lot of fun to ride this motorcycle this is a kawasaki ninja 250 we're going to be doing a video on how to ride a motorcycle for the very first time let's talk about some of the things we're going to teach you and train you on today we're going to talk about braking shifting and counter steering and we're also going to talk about some of the mistakes that new riders make but this is a great motorcycle to learn on it's very very light and um, we're going to start off here with this red shift lever here let's talk about this when people first get a motorcycle they're confused well how do you shift gears right well imagine a ladder you know how you have the first rung of the ladder and the second rung and the third fourth like that and you're up going up and down these rungs of a ladder well the way this motorcycle is and most motorcycles Japanese motorcycles you have the first rung which is first gear and then the second rung is second okay but in between first and second if you slightly tap up there's a weird area there where it's neutral so you have first neutral second third fourth fifth six and you're always shifting up and down the uh, shifting ladder so your foot is going to be on top like this or it will be on the bottom so when you're shifting up second third fourth fifth six five four three two one like that you're always shifting up let's say you're in first and you do a slight tap up you'll be in neutral if you're in first and you just kick up with normal pressure you'll be in second so let's show you some things shall we um, trying to make this video before the sun goes down let's get on the motorcycle and show you some stuff so check this out right side is braking this is the front brake that's the rear brake I'm gonna put my toe here and push down here you squeeze the front brake like an orange you don't just pull it back you squeeze it and as you're slowly squeezing it the bike will come to a stop this is the kill switch here this will immediately stop the bike's power if your bike tips over you get an accident or whatnot you can uh, kill the power there this is the starter we're going to start up in a moment this is the gas gauge this is the speedometer and this is the tachometer as we're revving the bike you'll see that go up oil pressure light neutral light we'll talk about that turn signals this is a mobile phone holder you could have your gps on there and stuff i happen to have a 600 but most new riders will not start on a 600 because you know it's more dangerous some people say so this bike here is a 250 so it's it's a uh, very very forgiving and easier to handle we're going to start the bike up in a moment but let's show you something this is shifting here and this is you pull the clutch lever in and then you shift down here so watch how we start the bike turn it on the key give it power make sure the kick stands up check it out now remember i told you it's first neutral second notice we're in neutral so if i kick down what gear will i be in first right watch one two three kick down i'm in first so here's what you want to do when you're new you kick down into first and you really got to concentrate when you're new what you're going to do is watch how the bike starts moving forward i'm not giving it any throttle slowly let the clutch lever out and see how it's moving forward and then pull it back in get used to that area of your bike hold on my nose itches where it's called the friction zone all bikes are different they all have a different area where it catches so see how it's catching watch watch how the it's moving there see it I'm not even giving any throttle now what you do is you want to find a street like this so you can practice watch as the clutch is getting let out and it's catching you give it a little throttle while you're letting the clutch out and we're in first practice doing that very smoothly you once you're in first the rest is easy watch clutch in kick up to second 
clutch in, kick up to third. And, watch this, clutch in, kick down to second. We're going to turn around here. Now, remember what I told you? What happens if we slightly kick down from second? Watch the neutral light. See that? So in between second and first, there's a little neutral light. It's not very wise to go down to neutral while you are going very fast, okay? You only want to use it at low speeds. Now, let's talk about stopping, okay? So we're in first. Watch this. Clutch in, kick up, release. In between the shifting, you're releasing the throttle. Watch when I release. Clutch in. Notice I release. Kick up. Clutch levers back on. Then I roll back on the throttle. Clutch in, kick up. Roll back on the throttle. So it's starting to get dark, so we better get on this. Doesn't look like it's dark on the camera because this camera really picks up the light. So we're going to talk about braking in a moment, but let's get this show on the road. We're in fourth gear. Let's go down this way. Now when braking, watch this, I'm in fourth gear. I'm going to start applying the brake. I pull the clutch lever in, I kick down, I'm slowly squeezing the brake while I'm shifting downward, clutch into second, I'm in first, haven't even put my foot down, you'll get good at balancing it. So, very, very important, braking, keep your bike straight, keep the handlebars straight, don't turn them all like that because you're going to crash and fall over. You can ride a very heavy bike if you just keep the handlebars straight. So watch this, I'm going to come to a stop, notice the handlebars are straight, keep them straight. Don't do that or like that, you're, you know, you're going to crash. So let's get on it a bit. So watch, second, clutch in, kick up third. It's easy, clutch in, kick up fourth. Once you get past first and the bike's moving, it's easy. And What's really cool is this bike has six gears. So you could really um, pick up some pretty nice speeds. Now what we're going to show you is counter steering. You've got to learn counter steering. You ever watch these uh, YouTube videos and the person's going around a corner really slow and then they crash. What the heck happened with that? What happened is they don't know how to counter steer. Counter steering freaks people out. I don't know why. It's a natural process that will happen. By the way, notice um, downshift while I'm braking. I'm squeezing the clutch. Clutch in. Cl squeezing the brake, I should say. Sorry. Okay, so now we're in first. Got like a little dip right here. So Clutch in, kick up second. Clutch in, kick up third. Notice, real easy. The stopping is a little more challenging than just shifting upward because you want to keep your handlebar straight, keep the front wheel straight. I probably shouldn't have said it like that. But obviously, if you have the handlebars steady and straight, that front wheel is going to be straight. So, what we're going to do is we're going to show you counter steering slightly more advanced uh, but if you're a new rider the streets don't wait for you to learn <laughs> counter steering they're not going to wait you're immediately going to have to learn it so if you're going to go on any streets 100 percent you're going to come up eventually to counter steering and what counter steering is is where you're going to move the handlebars in the opposite way that you want to turn. I know it sounds weird, but that's the way it is. And what the heck is going on here? Looks like there might be an accident here. I'm going to go this way. Yes. 
there's an accident. Hopefully everyone's okay. Let me see. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's just go to the front. See what's going on here. It must have just happened because everyone's just like sitting here. What the heck? Figures when I'm doing my video. Doesn't look like anyone's hurt. Um, what if I can go around? Okay, well, <laughs> why we're waiting, no one's hurt. Why we're waiting is, this is what counter steering is. If you have a corner coming up to the left, what you're gonna do is turn the handlebars like this. I'm really exaggerating this, but you're gonna turn the handlebars like that. Finally, he's moving the cone. Let's see if I can go through there. Nope, yeah. Let's see. Oh. Thanks, brother. He gave me the thumbs up. He knows he's on camera. Alright. Alright, we're glad no one was hurt there. So, remember what counter steering is. We're going to go to the left. And I'm speeding up. I want to give you some good, fast clip of speed. I'm speeding up. So we're going to the left. We're going to actually turn the handlebars like we're turning that way. Like this. I know that sounds weird, but that's what you do. Now, I'm exaggerating how much we turn the handlebars because you probably wouldn't be able to see it if I went like this, right? So I'm exaggerating so you can kind of see and get the idea. So here we go. We have some really cool turns here. This is a counter steering turn here. Here, I'm going to pull back towards me and push forward on the right. And this guy's like both being along, but you know. There is a place where I can pass up here, but, but that's what counter steering is. If we were going fast enough, here what I would do is I'd pull towards me here and push forward here, like this. Watch. How it, and what it does is it leans the bike into the corner. Look at those that sign right here. But I have Mr. Molasses in front of me here. As soon as we get the dotted uh, line, see if we can go for it. Okay, I'm pulling towards me here on the left. Pulling towards me here on the right got to learn this very very important skill counter steering it'll come to you naturally and if you want to learn counter steering I'm going to show you on the straightaway how to do it you can even learn counter steering while you're going straight just by manipulating the handlebars so here we go. I think we got the open slot. Tucking down. Going to head on traffic. Yeah, there we go. Thanks. Thanks, brother. But I want to be able to show you. Okay, here's counter steering here. I'm going to pull towards me on the left. Now, notice I'm coming to a stop, so 
I'm going downhill right here, watch. I'm letting the throttle, just the engine, slow it down. I'm starting to brake, sixth gear, fifth, fourth. I even skipped a few. Release the clutch lever. Third, remember, second, tap down from second. Look at that, the neutral light. Okay, let's let these guys go so I can pick up some speed. Let's let that traffic go ahead of us because we have some corners. All right, here we go. Remember counter steering, if we have a sharp corner to the right, what are we gonna do? We're gonna pull this handlebar towards us and push out that way and that'll lean it. And we do have a sharp corner to the right, 50 mile per hour corner, let's pick up speed. Watch this, I'm gonna pull towards me here on the left handlebar. Watch this line, we're gonna ride it right there, look. Right there, see that? You can manipulate it. Now, notice we're going straight. Watch how I do it now. You just, you practice. Do that with your bike. You know, make sure no cops are behind you. are gonna think you're drunk. But do that with your motorcycle when no one's around. Just pull left and right, left and right. Manipulate those handlebars, get a good feel of it. Notice, coming to a stop, sixth gear, fifth gear, starting to brake. Fourth gear, holding the brake here third gear watch second remember slight tap down from second look at that if you're new to riding I do advise you to count your gears and what I mean by that hold on a second what I mean by that is say five four three as you're going through the gears try to remember which gear you're in because you will forget as you're looking at the scenery and whatnot. Okay. We have some more counter steering. Matter of fact, we have some, uh, like a jagged sharp corner coming up here. I'm looking at the monitor on the camera. It looks really good. It doesn't look dark for you guys. The camera really like picks up all the light. So great. This is a sharper corner here. Look at the sign here. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna pull towards us on the right. Watch this. Watch it. Wait for it. Look at that. Lean into it. A lot of fun. This bike is a counter-steering uh, genius. It loves to be counter-steered. It's effortless. Such a fun bike. I mean, I can't tell you how much fun it is to ride a little Ninja 250 uh, zipping through the twisties. It really is a lot of fun. Now, here we go here. Watch this. Pull towards me on the left. Ah, uh, stop, sorry. We, I think we have another one coming up. Downshifting to fifth. Downshifting to fourth. Notice that I'm applying the brake while downshifting to third. I'm going to tell you something very important, too. One of the mistakes people make. Notice I'm in neutral. What you want to do, put it in first, look at my leg, see how my leg's still out? Once you see the bike moving, then put your feet up on the pegs. When you're new, do that. I'm going to tell you why in a moment, because well, let's get past this. Uh, this is really good. Sharp counter steering here, sharp corner to the right. Watch this. and out of the left, upshifting. Okay, here's why. I've seen new people on motorcycles, they go to take off, and what happens, they pop the gear too fast, first gear, and they stall it, and their feet are up on the pegs, and then when they stall it, their wheel turns and they fall over. I've seen that. I was at a light one time, and this guy on a motorcycle comes up, and he just falls over. Well, what happened? What happens is they go to take off in first, and they stall the bike. Everyone's done that. I've done that, right? But I'm ready. I've got my legs ready to put down if you stall it. I haven't done it, you know, like maybe out of every hundreds and hundreds of shifting, you know, you might 
stalling, especially if you're on a bike that you're unfamiliar with. So when you're new, this is only for when you're brand new, keep your legs ready so if you stall it, you can, you know, hold the bike up. But I've seen new people, they relax, they put their legs up on the pegs, they're not even moving yet. The bike's slowly starting to go, they stall the bike and you fall over. You'll see this with some guys on bikes. You'll, you'll see them start to take off through the light, their legs are still out, and then they lift them up on the pegs. Nothing wrong with that, if you want to play it safe. Okay, so we're going to counter steer here. This is what you do when you're coming to a railroad track. This is uh, railroad tracks right here. You don't have to sit on the seat when you're going across the railroad tracks. You could actually slightly watch I'm going to stand up on the pegs right now I'm actually standing up very very tall as you can see just to show you that <laughs> the people behind me are like this guy is has to stretch this way okay so uh, let's see what we got here we have uh, some sharp corners here um, I'm gonna why would you break seriously please why, why would you do that um, I'm going to really praise the Ninja 250. You could be in sixth gear, which I am right now, and you could be going like 20 miles per hour. It's not going to harm the motor because this is such a high revving bike. So I'm going to show you how I take this corner coming up. It's just a very slow corner in sixth gear. Now, let's give you a reading on the tack. 5,000 RPM at 40 miles per hour. 5,000 RPMs is pretty high for being at 40 miles per hour. Most bikes, would, if you're in sixth gear, it'd be like 1,000 RPMs. Now watch this. I'm not braking. I'm in sixth. Taking this corner. Look at that. And it still has, you know, some power on tap. So if you're starting off on a bike, a uh, Ninja 250 is great. You can't be like some super tall or overweight rider because it's a very, very light bike. It doesn't have a lot of power. Okay, now watch this. I'm in six, so. See that? A lot of fun. So now what we're going to do what you guys like we're going to turn around and we're going to go to an advanced faster pace we hope after this guy gets out of the way so let's find a place to turn around so check it out downshift to fifth oh i want to show you the signal watch i put my thumb to the left notice the signals on here i want to show you something and um I want to keep showing you. Look, signal is still on. So what do you do to stop the signal? You push in on the button. See how I just did that? All right. So now we're going to go to advanced pace. The sun is now officially down. We just kind of have... Um, is that guy going to go right? Oh, by the way, I'm on a hill. Watch this. Notice, you kind of hold it with the <laughs> with the clutch. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to stop here, let, let the traffic go by, let those guys go by so we can pick up the pace, okay? So, here's what happens. When you're turning to the left, like a left turn really sharp at a higher speed, you're going to go like this. Not a lot, you're literally just going to go like that. But basically, left, you go this way. Right, you go that way. At a very slow speed... All right. Looks like they're gone. So now we're going to catch up to them. At a very slow speed, if you're going to go left, you would just go like this, right? Like, watch. Let's say I'm going to turn around here. I better hurry, that car is coming. Notice how I'm turning. But here we go. Let's get on it. 
So we're going to go at a higher speed to the right. We're going to pull towards us here, push forward here. Watch. Stick with me here. Now on that, I was able just to kind of lean. Wasn't going too fast. Shifting upward. Now look at this, 50 mile per hour corner. No one's behind me, so I want to show you a little technique. Don't hug the inside, stay on the outside. So when you're going around the corner, and we have no cars there, but watch. You can go inside that way. Like right here, if I'm gonna go this way, I'll stay on the outside and then cut on the inside. So let's go. Pick up the pace, I know what you guys like. We have a 25 mile per hour corner. Check it out, um, 45 it says. I'm just scared something's gonna cross the line. So here we go, um, up to six. I'm in six here, we're gonna pull back on the right. Are you kidding me? Where'd that car come from? Pull back here. Oh no, we're not turning. Here. We're coming up to it. Like this one here to the right. I'm going to pull back here on the left. Watch. I'm going to stay on the outside. Just kind of show you what. And then you do it like that. See? Sometimes the cars let you go. Um, so we're going back over these railroad tracks. You see that's those fake palm tree cell phone tower thing. We're in six gear. If we have enough uh, battery time, standing up on pegs, let's get on it. If we have enough battery time, we're going to go through those high speed uh, hills. Remember I was behind that guy coming down the hill and finally I got the dotted line and we went head on traffic, you know. Don't be doing that when you're new. Turn. What the? <laughs> so, he like wants me in the back seat of the car going through the window. That guy's that, on a motorcycle. Is, you see that guy? He had no lights. So Ninja 250 is just an epic motorcycle bug going on my winter here. So you got counter steering, you got braking. Um, what else? We talked about keeping the wheels straight when you stop. Especially these heavier bikes. If you've got that wheel, here's the problem. Let's say you've got the wheel crooked and you go to stop and you have to stop fast, let's say, the weight is going to be not distributed evenly. It's going to be distributed more to the left or the right and that's going to throw you to the right or to the left when you brake. But if you got that wheel straight, there's nothing that can happen. You're just going to stop like that. All right, we're approaching that um, that long mountainous that long mountainous uh, twisty thing. Is like waiting to let me over. Ah, we got a stop sign. So, we got the stop sign. Watch how we stop. Sometimes I know it's hard, like there's stop signs around a corner. I've seen those. And you really got to force it to keep the wheel straight. This one's a slight corner, but watch. Notice the wheel is straight. Now I'm in first. Haven't put the foot down yet. Here we go. Okay, 
pull back towards us here on the right. Check it out. Here we go. Let me be able to show you right there like that. See how it leads it? Oh, and when you're going straight, watch. I'm going to pull back towards me on the right. Watch what happens. See how it does it? Pull back towards me on the left. It, see, you can just, you can do it when you're going straight. You don't have to like, you know, test it going around a corner. Just, you know, test it when you're going straight. You see, this is basically, they should call it counter pressure or counter leaning. Because when you think steering, don't you think of a steering wheel? So it's more like, I guess I would call it counter pressure or counter leaning. It's, it's so easy. I mean, the minute you get on it, you're like, oh yeah, I get it. You know, it's a natural process. So right here, I'm going to pull back on the right, just slightly wide. See how it leaves it? And here we go. We're going up to more of the high speed turns and stuff. So we got a stop sign downshift to fifth. Look, I'm not braking yet. Downshift to fourth. Come see the these bumps on the road are actually no stopping me. <laughs> Look, I'm way back here. I'm in third. Actually, having to give it throttle. This road's horrible. All right, but that guy's going that way. Second, slight tap down from second. Notice I'm stopping in neutral. Okay, we're going to put our foot down to let that traffic go. In first, watch. Slowly let the clutch out. Give it some throttle. Clutch in, kick up. Remember, in between shifts, watch. Clutch in, you're letting go of the throttle, and then you're rolling back on. Clutch in, so you're going like that with the throttle each time. And then you just roll back on. So I pull the clutch in. I have the throttle already closed. Once it's in gear, I roll back on smoothly. All right, Let's see if that accident's gone. Battery power is gonna run out any moment. It is now officially nighttime. You guys probably don't see that one. So, stop sign coming up. Check it out. Downshift to fifth. Notice, I'm not braking. I'm not using the rear brake. Fourth. Now I'm starting to use it. Third. Second. First. I'll go into first now. And here we go. This should be fun. So, second. Third. on it a bit here. 10,000 RPMs, 11, 12, red lines at 13, 10,000 RPMs. I mean, for a 250, this thing like rocks. And I'm actually going uphill, but it just rocks. It's, it's fun. And now we're in six. The hill's probably about like that, but then as we get right here with the signs at, it starts to go like that, and this is awesome. We have enough traffic way ahead of us so I can show you the counter steering. This is the hill you need to learn counter steering. You kill yourself if you don't know how to do it. We're going to pull back towards this on the right. Watch this. Same thing here. We're pulling back towards this on the left. Just a slight pull. You should see a beautiful view of the earth, the view of all the city lights as you come around the corner. All right, we're catching up to these vehicles here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click below here to see some more How to Ride a Motorcycle videos where we also ride 600 if you're into more powerful motorcycles. Um, you could uh, 
see those two. Right here, pulling back on the left, pulling back on the left, and then over here I'm going to pull back on the right so we don't go off the cliff here. <laughs> Look at that. It is beautiful. Look at God's creation. It is a blast. There's nothing like riding a motorcycle with freedom, the open environment. You know, the power as you're flying through the twisties. Um, especially when you, when you feel very confident on a 250, you move up to like a 600 or a 1,000, a liter bike. I remember I had a ZX-10. I have a 600 now, but I had a ZX-10 and I got on, I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, the thing just kept pulling and pulling as you're, um, you know, I was on the freeway. You almost run out of freeway before the thing ever uh, finally reaches top speed. Now, as you saw, this bike goes on the freeway, so it's fine, but I would get a different sprocket. They have the sprockets, you know, the chain goes around, and you get a different sprocket, so it brings the revs down as much. Uh, not So the, it doesn't rev as much. Look at it. Because where we were just at, they're still there. Um, look, downshifting. Sometimes what I'll do when there's a bunch of traffic I'll just keep downshifting and downshifting while I'm braking, just slowly downshifting till I hit neutral. So we're going to end this uh, on the freeway ride. That's the end of this lesson. You guys know the lesson, how to counter steer, how to brake. You're slowly going to squeeze the brake like an orange, like you're squeezing an orange. All I can tell you about freeway riding is make sure you're not... Um, next to vehicles on the freeway. Try to stay away from them as much as possible. I might be able to get you a couple of minutes of freeway riding right now because we're approaching the freeway. Another reason why you need to know counter steering is when you're getting on the on-ramps. When you go around the on-ramps, you're totally like practically laying it down sometimes. Now I'm in gear, uh, this guy is in front of me, not braking. Like right here, I'm totally counter steering here. So I'm going to downshift to fifth, because this bike can need a little more power. This guy's braking, I am not braking going around there. motorcycle guy up there. I don't know if I can catch up. Six gear. So we're tucking down. This is what it's <laughs> this is what it's like to be on the freeway on a 250. What I'm always concerned about is the tires, you know, I don't want to like check this out, let's get over here and I'm allowed to do this in California. Like, I'm tucked down right now. But I'm always worried about the tires. And for 250, that's a little tired. You can tell if a bike's a 250 sometimes just by looking at those little teeny weeny tires. Uh, like a zero gravity type windscreen right here in front of me. So see as I'm tucked down right here, I can actually tuck down. It makes a big difference. I notice that like, oh, there gets the motorcycle guy just got out. So. Oh no, wait, that's what that um, It makes a big difference. I've noticed when you tuck down. One of the things that's not too fun is going by these big semis. this guy. <laughs> Passing. 
<laughs> that's another thing that you have to look forward to. That used to freak me out, but on the 250, I'm like, yeah, I'm used to it. <laughs> I mean, the guys, that guy must be going about like 95. Check out the tax. See, it's at like uh, almost eleven grand. Now, you're coming off the freeway at a fast clip, right? So here's what I do. How do you bring it down? Slowly, I'm letting the throttle slow it down. Remember, you can't stop like a car. You can't stop on a dime. Can't. I mean, unless you have anti-lock brakes, and thank God they're starting to make motorcycles with anti-lock brakes. Is that cool or what? But watch, watch what I do here. So we're getting off the freeway. I've now, I have my hand off the throttle. See that? Hands off the throttle. I'm coasting. It helps if no one's riding you, like right behind you. I'm coasting, downshifting downshifting let's do like what that guy did to me pass over here <laughs> um, yeah 250 oh my gosh people like get right on you and like ride you and stuff so what we're gonna do is um, let's go over here to McDonald's parking lot I can't believe this thing is still recording how much battery power do I have on this darn thing so look at we used about a thimble full of gas um my nose itches that's another good thing about the 250 is i mean it like sips gas